Hello and welcome to my short tutorial on how to use the keyword cipher. Now here's the original alphabet and the substitution alphabet right here. Uh, we do need a keyword and a key letter so let's go ahead and do a keyword and we will use math and then we need a key letter we'll use A. Now the key letter is the location of where I'm going to put that keyword. So if I use a key letter of A, math will go right here. Let me submit. You see math, uh, M-A-T-H in the first four spots, and then the rest of the alphabet is uh, put in the, the rest of the squares. Now that I have my uh, key, I can go ahead and uh, write a message. So the plain text is going to be, this is a keyword cipher. Right now, if I were to encrypt this, T is going to go to S, and what about H will go to E. So down here, the first two spots where T and we would have T and H, that would go to S and E, which it does. Uh, now, if I change the location of the where I put math, so say I put it at D, that means math should the M in math should show up where that H is right now, which it does, and then I can substitute again, and that's how you use the keyword cipher. Decrypting is exactly the same thing. We have our uh, ciphertext and we need a key in the location and we can decrypt it. And right now if I decrypt it, it should give me back the original message, which it does. If I change my location, even though that I have the keyword right, if I change the location, uh, in this case back math back to the beginning of the alphabet, if I decrypt it now, it's not going to make any sense. So both the keyword and the key letter, or the location of where you put the keyword, does matter.